Hello again. When I made my last video, I mentioned something called an artist trading card. I said I was making an artist trading card, and then I realized that I never really explained what an artist trading card is. So I thought I'd make another video all about artist trading cards. I've been experimenting with this nifty little printing technique using a toilet paper roll that I learned about recently. So that's what I'm going to use to make the, this set of artist trading cards. And I'll tell you about the process right now, but then while I'm making them, while you watch me make them, I'll tell you about the history of artist trading cards and about my history with artist trading cards. Artist trading cards are small cards that measure exactly three and a half by two and a half inches. They can be either portrait or landscape orientation. As the name suggests, they are only ever traded one for one and they are never intended to be sold. The process that I'm working on, I've painted some small pieces of card that have been cut to size and then I'm going to dip the end of a toilet paper roll into some navy blue paint, acrylic paint, and squash that roll into different shapes to make some flower shapes. And then after I've printed all of my shapes on the card, I'm going to use more acrylic paint. Some of it is liquid in a from a bottle, and some of it is in the form of an acrylic paint pan. And I'm going to use those colors to create a stained glass window or perhaps a batik like effect on my cards. Anyway, so to tell you a little bit about artist trading cards, artist trading cards in this format were conceived by a Swiss artist named M. Vancey Sternman and he attended the Calgary Winter Olympics in 1988 where he saw adults trading sports cards and he thought it would be a fun idea to make an artist version of those sorts of trading cards but at the time color printing was quite expensive so he was frustrated for many years and eventually he came up with the idea of making originals and in in the late 1990s he made 1,200 artist trading cards in the same size as the sports trading cards and held an exhibit in Switzerland. And he told people that his cards were not for sale, but if people wanted them, that they could make their own and trade with him. A Canadian artist named Don Mabby, also known as Chuck Stake, attended that exhibit and brought the ba idea back to Canada and started an artist trading card group in Calgary at the New Gallery uh, after he returned. A few years later, in 2000, the Vancouver Artist Trading Card Group formed. And a few years after that, probably in 2002 or 2003, I happened upon an exhibit of artist trading cards at the Port Moody Art Gallery. At the time, my daughter was very young and liked to stay at home a lot, so I didn't have much of a social life. I found an online group and I started exchanging artist trading cards with people through the mail. That group went on to become ATCsforall.com and that group is still very active. And I also joined the Vancouver Artist Trading Card group. In 2010, I organized an exhibit of artist trading cards in honor of our Vancouver group's 10th anniversary, and we received submissions from North America, Europe, Asia, Australia, and even from South Africa. Then that group would have celebrated its 20th anniversary in 2020 but they stopped meeting in March. They continued to gather online. So artist trading cards were conceived as a way to get to know other artists and explore different styles of art. Sternman was part of the male art movement and he he was very interested in democratizing the art movement and taking it out of the high art gallery system so his art may look a little different than you you may uh, than what you might think of as art, 
It's very experimental and conceptual in nature. And here's uh, an example of Sternman's art that was created in the 1980s, right around the time that he he originally conceived of the idea of making artist trading cards. As you can see, the the printing process at the time was not not what it is today, and his art may look a little different than you expect. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching me make these artist trading cards, and here are the finished results.